Hey guys, this is going to be a little mini-series coming on the channel. This is going to be uh, how to prepare your, your catch. Um, it's going to include filleting fish, it's going to include you know cooking at some point. Uh, I want to have another person to film that part. Um, just preparing your catch, you know, stuff like that. Today we got into a absolute load of blue crab. Got a limit in short time. And uh, I'll show you how I at least prep them for cooking. I like to steam my crabs, but uh, like I said, I don't have anybody to film that into that, so I'm gonna hold off on that part. But at least on this part here, I'll show you how I clean them. Um, just some people don't clean their crabs going into the pot. Some people do. I personally don't like dealing with the guts of a crab, so I take the shell off. I uh, clean it out, clean off off the apron, the mouth pots, and all that stuff like that, and the gills. So that way, when I cook it, all the seasoning I add onto the, in the steam pot will uh, go into the meat. Um, Additionally, I'll show you here what the difference is between um, a rusty crab or a white belly crab, you know. Um, they're all blue crabs, but it's just a uh, different stage of that crab's life cycle where it's either just molted, which is dropping its shell, or it's going to be molting probably soon. Uh, the rusty crabs tend to have more meat in them. Uh, a lot more meat usually they call them heavy crabs and when you get them steam them up you pull that meat out and it's just unreal it's just a ton of meat so it's nice and dry um, the softer shell crabs you know the ones with the really clean shells you'll end up getting those and sometimes the meat's mushy because of so much water um, when a crab sheds its shell it's shedding its old shell and it's crawling out of it and then the shell that it has on its body it's going to be swollen with water, the new shell, so that way when it forms up and hardens, it's got room to grow. So those crabs tend to be a little bit mushier, um, but if you want like the best crab meat comes out of your rusties, and I'll show you the difference between the two. I know I got a couple good really rusty ones in there, and I got a bunch of white bellies, which are newer shells. Um, so we'll show you that, and that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be a quick one, but uh, hopefully it helps you guys. So let's uh, get to the cleaning. All right, so right here we get two male crabs. Um, this is part of the crabs called the apron. And uh, these are alive, they're just chilled, so that's why they're not moving around. Um, chilling them makes them a lot easier to deal with. And if you look, you see you got this really red color. Uh, this crab here is a hard shell crab. And this one here, being a lot cleaner, is uh, a newer shell. This one actually is decently, uh, Decently old, so you get some yellowing here, and it's actually uh, it's just got a dirty shell. But that uh, you see, the coming back to life too is pretty hot out. Um, this one here will have less meat in the shell than this one, but I mean, any crab's good, really. Um, there's no big difference. You can see this is the blue on the blue crab. Uh, you don't really see it as much on the rusties. So. This is going to be a good meal. Um, this one here is going to yield a lot more meat than this guy, even if they were the same exact size. All right. So hopefully this is all going to be in the camera frame. I'll have to look at it afterwards and let you know. Uh, what you want to do is you want to chill your, your blue crabs down. Here's a bucket of blue crabs. I, had my, I got a fridge that I keep them cool in. It makes them lethargic. Um, these crabs are a bit nasty when they are uh, fully active. And these claws here will absolutely hurt you. Um, this crab's alive, it's just cold, so you don't want to do this when they're hot. Um, if you do, you're going to get yourself hurt. Um, so basically what you do is you take your crab. Um, I'm doing this outside. i got a hose on standby. I'll show you what that's for in a second. I got this nice little cutting board. You're going to grab your crab by the, sh by the horn right there, the spine. And I put my thumb right here at the base of that swimmer fin. And then you just peel that top shell off. The crab doesn't know what hit it. Uh, after that, you take these mouth pieces off, flip it over, you can snap that little apron off. All right, so what you got here now, these are the gills. I just take them with my fingers. Um, you can probably blow them off with a hose, but if you really want them clean, just scoop them off. And now this right here, this is what they, uh, some people like to eat, it's called the mustard. It's the guts. It's not my thing. So what I do in order to clean this stuff out is I'll take my hose, put it on a jet setting or a full setting, 
and then I'll just blow it out. This crab's not alive, it can't feel nothing right now. So don't don't be like, oh, this is so cruel. This crab's got no idea what's going on. It's not alive, it's just the nerves. Um, they don't, for whatever reason, it reacts with the water. You can see all that meat in there. And then basically take a look over your crab, grab anything extra, and then uh, that's it. So this crab right here is gonna go into the steamer just like this. And uh, after that, you can pick it, eat it, and have a great time. Now I'm gonna continue to do this with all my crabs, it's just I wanna speed through it. I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this. Um, but that's a clean crab ready to go. Throw it in your bucket and you're good to go. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Just cleaned all those crabs up. They're gonna be going into a pot here in a minute. Nah, they're gonna be my dinner. Then uh, what's left over, I'm gonna pick them out for crab rangoons in the future. Freeze those up, it's gonna be phenomenal. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the final product, uh, how much we got. If you guys like what you saw, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, anything you can do to help me out, it's great. Uh, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, hey, you know, you're ripping the face off the crab. Well, I think this is probably a faster death for these crabs than if you were to throw them in a pot of boiling water or steam them where the death is probably a little bit more long, prolonged. This, these things don't even know what hit them. You rip the top off, it's over. So, in my, my mind, it's a little bit more of a humane way to, uh, you know, kill a crab, cook a crab up. So, I'll start to slide this over to the final shot. And if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe, comment, like. And I uh, hope you guys had a good day. Hopefully, this helps some of you guys out. So, well, there it is, guys. It's going to be the uh, big old pile of clean ready to go crabs now if you look at them really close like this is a nice rusty hard shell um, they're all cleaned up nice no gill well, not much of the gills left anyways um, no apron no head no mouthpieces not the no guts once these things are steamed up pretty much everything but the shell is gonna be uh, edible so um, this is why I like it doing it this way nice and clean no mess no yellow musty kicking kick around um, all right guys have a good one. Time to eat.